bad. Good. Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a Twitter page for your business. So the first thing we'll do is go to the internet. And in this case, I'm going to be setting up a Twitter page for Mega Deals, which is a new project that I'm working on for my client. So this project basically shows you all of the best deals on the internet for various types of categories. And that's the logic of it. You click on a category like consoles and it will show you some good deals, computer games and so forth. So we've got the logo here. I'm going to go over to Google. I'm using Google Chrome browser and I'm going to type in Twitter and we'll go to Twitter website and let's just click on the home actually here and when we click on home it's asking me two questions um, do I want to log in or do we want to join Twitter so we want to join so what I'll do is enter in a email address And we've got to put in a password as well. Join Twitter today. So put in your email address and put in your password and click get started. Now it's asking for a name. So you can put in your real name if you want to, or you can put in your business name. So in this case, we're going to put in Mega Deals UK. It says here, personalized Twitter based on where you've seen Twitter content on the web. <clears throat> Look at advanced options. Let others find your find you by your email address. That's fine. Let others find you by your phone number. I haven't put in a phone number, so that's fine. So we'll click sign up. So it's asking me to enter in a phone number. I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to move it off of screen quickly. Okay, so after I put in my phone number, Twitter sent me a verification code and I entered that verification code and now it's asking me to choose a username. So the username needs to be one word. Um, so this will be UK, this will be Mega Deals UK. So that new username has already been taken. So let's try it with hyphens username can only contain underscores let's try it with underscores so that one's okay that name's available so we use that click next okay let's continue so it's asking me what am I interested in I'm just going to continue and skip this and it's asking me if I want to import any details from Gmail and I'm going to say no thanks and it's asking me if I want to follow certain people. So normally I do this a bit later after I set up the account. Um, I'm going to unselect all of them. So I don't want to follow these random people. I'm going to click continue. It's asking me to turn on notifications. I'm not going to do that for now. I can do that later. So here it just gives you some few few tips here but it's asking me a confirm your email address to access your Twitter features a confirmation email was sent to invite mega deals so what we'll do is we'll try and get access to that email just gonna use webmail to do that We should see an email in here from Twitter to confirm that the email is valid. Okay, so it took about three or four minutes for the email to arrive into my inbox to con confirm your Twitter account for Mega Deals. So I'll click on that and then I'll click continue uh, confirm now to confirm my email address. And once I've done that, it will give me full access to the Twitter account. So we still need to do quite a few updates here, like add the logo, the background, and quite a few other things. And we're going to do that in the next tutorial. So this was just a basic setup. And in the next tutorial, we'll start to add more functionality, more visuals to our Mega Deals Twitter page. 
Okay, I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.